we have so much electrical, a machine or the elevator, the ventilator, all these. If you use that electronic pictures and shows a poetic content, philosophical questions, you reconcile your organic body with that permanent electronic noise. I was since a child interested doing rooms with moving light and moving films and music for people. Rooms where people are the most important. I aimed in this direction long before I knew that this should be art. It was just a deep wish. When I heard first you would like to work with me, I thought it's a joke that I couldn't believe that Hayward would ask me for a show. I was very pleased. Why did you invite me? We felt it's really necessary to show London your work and kind of go back to the mid-80s when you started and um, let people discover what you're doing. How you work with space and how you edit in space, how you project, helps us to perceive moving image differently. It's like freeing the image from the square box. The light plays with the rooms. In one room we even ignore the architecture. It's almost dissolving when they catch the different lights and they become the body and the, the walls disappear. You dealt with the body from the beginning on and very often it was the female body because you used your own body. Often was misunderstood if I deal with a female body. I didn't mean only to speak about women. For me it was standing for everybody. So with the new work, I think I like the fact that you kind of you, you want that you're celebrating the men there more. I imagine that all the beards, they go out like sparks. I like to, to make him like, uh, look like God. The whole work is also a glorification of, of the wonder of evolution. It's a chain of thousands of happy coincidences. Living creatures and then creatures with brains and even with self-consciousness could develop. The images are something you propose, but they're also images I perceive for the first time, but they're also my own images. It will be very different from person to person, how they feel when they come out, which image triggers their imaginations and memories. It's an ambivalent thing, the life. It's both. It's life and death. It's beauty and ugliness. It's extremely complex. There are so many levels. Science, human body, quantum physics, gravity. But there's still something you can just lie down and be yourself. And kind of be I inspired. couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> if you be approving the glory of life, approving the wonder that we exist, then that is a good aim.